Hey guys, Chad Trofkerman here. Today I'm going to demonstrate on how to apply the bone tool to an imported image or Photoshop file in Flash. This is a question I have received quite a lot actually. And so I just thought instead of answering all those questions, I would just demonstrate it here in a tutorial. And it's actually really easy to do. There's just a slight trick to it and I will show you just what that is. So first, we need to have a Photoshop file or an image ready to go. And I just pulled one up here really quick. That's in Photoshop right now. And now this image I have, you probably wouldn't apply the bone tool to because really there's probably no point. But this is just for demonstration purposes, so just bear with me. So you have a file in Photoshop. You go to File, Save As, and you either save it as a Photoshop file or a JPEG or whatever type of image. And I already have it here. And we're going to now go to Flash and go to File, Import, Import to Stage or Library if you choose. And you're going to grab your um, Photoshop file or image and select Import. And it will appear on the screen. And of course I will reduce the size of it here so we can see it. Now you have the um, the image or the Photoshop file here and when you go to the bone tool and you try to apply it you'll see that there is a circle with a line going through it meaning you can't apply a bone to this and this is very easy to solve all you have to do is break apart the Photoshop file or the image this will allow you to edit the image in Flash as well as apply the bone tool to it. So if we go to modify and go to break apart or command B or control B if you're on a PC, this will break apart the image. And as you can see now there's little dots going through it meaning that we can, it's almost like it's a fill. You know how you um, apply fills in Flash? It's basically um, acting as that now. So even if we went to the eraser tool and erased, we could erase it just like that. I'm just going to go ahead and undo that really quick. So we go over here to our bone tool now, and click that and come over here. And now as I start dragging and applying, the bone tool obviously is working. And it wasn't before, so that's good, right? <laughs> so I'm just kind of go through here really quick and apply some bones come over here to my selection tool, click up here, and there we go. It moves just like that. And really that's all there really is to it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. You just gotta keep in mind when you bring an image in, you gotta break it apart. And if you're using a Photoshop file, you're gonna lose you know, some of your details there, you know, like your layers and, your, and all that kind of stuff when you break it apart. But really this is probably the only way you're gonna be able to do it. So, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you want to check out more tutorials, just visit my website at IncredibleTutorials.com, and I will see you guys next time.